at breaking news tonight. This major change to a Charlotte landmark. Here you see the Jerry Richardson statue outside Bank of America Stadium being lifted up and put on a truck and hauled away. Crews removed the statue of the Panthers founder this afternoon without any warning to members of the media. A live look now from Chopper 9 and you see what's left. They also took down one of the Panthers and trying to get the second Panther off that podium there where Jerry Richardson's statue was. Now, the statue has been controversial ever since allegations of sexism and racism against Richardson. It forced him to sell the team in 2018. We have team coverage of this big change, getting reaction from both players and fans. We want to start with Channel 9's Joe Bruno, who broke this news today. Joe, the Panthers spokesperson says this is a public safety issue. Jerry Richardson hasn't owned the team in years, but his presence has always been felt thanks to a 13-foot statue outside Bank of America Stadium. It's no more. In fact, it's laying underneath that blue tarp on this flatbed over here as crews continue to work on the rest of the statue. Here you can see over here behind me, they've got a rope wrapped around the last remaining panther, and they're prepared to lift it with this crane. I was the first reporter out here today after we got tips this would be happening. Here's the moment as Cruz lifted the statue off its pedestal to its place on a flatbed. You might remember when David Tepper was introduced as an owner, he said he was contractually obligated to keep the statue where it is. So why the change? The official word from the Panthers is they are moving it to an undisclosed location in the interest of public safety. The team claims there are concerns people would try to take it down. As the statue was removed today, dozens of fans came out to watch. Many are happy the Panthers are moving on. Um, to be honest, um, when I walked up, I was like, oh my God, they're taking it down. But when I found out the history, I'm like, take it all the way down. Coming back here outside Bank of America Stadium, you can see as a couple different workers here work on getting this last Panther onto the flatbed with the other Panther and the Jerry Richardson statue. All of this work is expected to take place until 8 o'clock at the latest. Elsa. All right, Joe, thank you. We want to bring in sports reporter Matt Harris now, who talked to one of the most outspoken Panthers players, safety Trey Boston. Matt, what did he have to say? Yeah, veteran safety Trey Boston said that he felt it was best for the community that this Jerry Richardson statue came down. Boston expressed that the statue wasn't a good representation of the players or the organization, given the fact Richardson put the team up for sale following allegations of sexual harassment in the workplace and using racially insensitive language. The Panthers gave Trey his start in the NFL when they were under the ownership of Richardson. Now in his second stint with the Panthers, Trey said a big part of his coming back had to do with the fact that the team was under new ownership. He said with David Tepper, it's been a complete 180. Trey believes removing the statue was best for the community and players alike. I believe that, you know, as the, the Carolina Panthers, uh, we pride ourselves in the way we carry ourselves and being the standard. With the issues that were going on, um, we thought, I mean, obviously, uh, you, you can think for yourself. Uh, obviously, there was misconduct. So just do you condone that as well? So I think that was something that in the direction of where the Carolina st Panthers stand, uh, we would like to move forward. And Trey listed plenty of substitutes for statues like Julius Peppers or Steve Smith Sr. But Boston also talked about team mandates that came from the top down in 2016 regarding protesting and police brutality. At six, I'll explain Trey's frustration with those policies and how he's seen change under David Tepper. For now, back to you. All right, uh, Matt, still a lot of questions here. I know we will be out there until 8 o'clock monitoring the situation. Thank you. Now, while he was team owner, Richardson faced allegations of workplace misconduct. A report published by Sports Illustrated included allegations of inappropriate sexual comments and touching by Richardson and the alleged use of a racial slur and cash payouts tied to non-disclosure agreements related to all that. Well, he then announced that he would be selling the team. Richardson has faced other allegations of discrimination. In the 90s, he ran the company that owned Denny's. The company faced several lawsuits alleging mistreatment of black customers. Richardson reached an agreement with the NAACP to increase the number of black owners and managers and employees at those restaurants. Now, the statue was a gift to Richardson for his 80th birthday back in 2016. 
When current Panthers owner David Tepper bought the team, he never commented on if he wanted the statue to stay there, only to say that he had no choice. Uh, there's a 13-foot statue of Jerry Richardson outside the North Gate. Do you plan to leave that as is or move it? I'm contractually obligated to keep that statue as it is. The NFL Network reported that requirement was included in the contract term presented to every bidder for the team. Well, another look again at Bank of America Stadium tonight. So much change already. We've seen um, the Black Lives Matter uh, mural painted on North Tryon in Uptown Charlotte just yesterday. And today, more change in a city we all know so well here. Jerry Richardson statue gone and the two Panthers being moved out again because they thought it could be a target for vandals and some people think for many other reasons.